Hi, welcome to the journal overview in Dynamic Snap. You can view all your journals in the finance module. General journals are used to post general ledger accounts and other accounts such as bank, customer, vendor, and fixed asset accounts. The cash receipt journal is used to register and receive payments from customers. The payment journal is used to register and post payments to vendors. For this video, we'll be looking at the general journal. To add a new entry, you can enter the date of this entry in the posting date column, or it can be populated based on today's date. You can set the document type to be payment, invoice, credit memo, finance charge memo, reminder, or refund. In the document number field, we leave the default number because this is automatically generated. The account type could be GL account, customer, vendor, bank account, fixed asset, or intercompany partner. You can search through an account number by selecting the ellipses. This will provide you with a full list of accounts available. I'm currently looking for the office supply account. The other fields, such as the general posting type and the business posting group, will become populated based on the information you entered in the GL account. The amount purchased will be $100, tax included. When you're ready to post a document, you can test the document to ensure that no issues exist that will block the posting by clicking on the test report button. A warning will appear if there's anything wrong. If you were to try to post this entry, finance will not allow you to post this since the balance is out by $100. To balance the account, you can manually enter a new line or set up a balancing account. We will use the cash account, account 2910, to balance the account. The account will thus be balanced. Once you're done entering journal lines, you can click Post. Remember, the information that you enter in a journal is temporary and can be changed while it's in the journal. When you post a journal, the information is transferred to entries on individual accounts where it cannot be changed. You can, however, unapply posted entries and you can post reversing or correcting entries. To check the posted results, click on the chart of accounts, then search for the account. Then select the ledger entry function in the ribbon to see which entries have been posted. I'll sort the list to find the transaction I just posted. If I click navigate, I can drill down into the related entries. Here is my office supply account, here is my tax account, and here's my balancing account, the cash account. There's also a separate entry to show you how much tax was taken out. And that concludes the journal overview in Dynamics Nav. Thanks for watching.